<laughs> okay. Hey, welcome to Berkeley Middle School. My name is Leroy Jackson. I'm the principal, and we are doing a virtual little presentation here, a YouTube presentation to talk about scheduling for next year. Um, and so we're going to begin. I'm going to share with you a screen right now. I'm using Zoom. The background there, I got my virtual McDonald's. All right, <clears throat> so for all sixth grade students, you're going to have the following courses, and there's not a lot of choice about it. Um, it is what it is. So we have language arts, we have PE, we have science, and we have social studies. Those are part of what makes up what's called a core. The options that we have where we have a little bit of choice is going to be in the areas of mathematics and in enrichment. These are the two big places where we are going to have choices. I need to cross this out and I need to put in, I'm going to, because I'm using my mouse here and it doesn't come out very well. Hey, okay, I'm gonna stop right there. And so that's gonna be represent Spanish. Sorry about that. And then let's see if I can do art. I'm not as good at writing with a mouse as I might be with a, a stylist or something like that, but this is what I got. So here we go. <clears throat> so if you're not in band or chorus, which are great programs to be in, very popular. Um, if you, anybody can be in band, if you've never played an instrument before, this is the time to start trying. Um, by the end of the year, you'll be good at, at uh, whatever instrument you choose. I like tuba. You might like flute, um, clarinet, or trombone, or trumpet. Um, those are great instruments. Um, band would be a great choice for you. Perhaps you like chorus, maybe you like singing, you like to be with a lot of friends. This is a very, very popular uh, class. You don't have to be a great singer. You just have to like music and like to sing um, and hang out with friends. And so chorus is an awesome elective. So those are our two most popular electives. Um, the next elective for students would be, again, Spanish and art. And those are flip-flopped at the semester. So it's an introduction to Spanish and then it flips into art or you start out with art and then you go into introduction to Spanish. That changes at the semester, and that's a good choice for many students. All right, well, how do I get to this uh, place where I can start making my elective and uh, math choices? I'm going to show you that in a second. <clears throat> and so uh, this is the sixth grade schedule, and um, it starts out with the, what's called the core classes. You have English, PE, Science, and Social Studies. Generally speaking, there's not a lot of choice here, and this is uh, by default what we schedule um, the vast majority of our students for. Where there's a little bit of selection uh, would be in areas of mathematics and for our electives and or enrichment. Um, so for math, we'll talk about that when we get to that point of the scheduling. Um, enrichment, I'll take a couple minutes right now to talk about it. Um, the enrichment wheel, um, and it actually doesn't have health anymore. I probably should cross this out. It did at one point in time, but doesn't now. Um, the enrichment right now is two classes. Um, one semester is, uh, is one of the classes, and then at the semester, they flip. And so you start out, let's say, uh, the very first class would be introduction to Spanish the first semester, and then at the uh, second semester, you would take art. Um, if you get scheduled into the art class first, the, uh, at the semester flip, you would then go to Introduction to Spanish. So this is two classes during the school year. Um, it's the same period, and uh, it just flip-flops at the semester. That's around Christmas time for people new to the semester system. Um, the other choices would be band or chorus, and both of these uh, programs are very, very popular. If you don't know how to play an instrument, um, Mrs. Bantam is a phenomenal teacher. She can teach you how to play an instrument and you'll be ready to go on to the high school when you're all said and done as an eighth grader. Um, even by the end of the very first year as a sixth grader, you'll be able to play music that sounds pretty good. Um, and so I encourage it strongly. I loved tuba when I was in middle school. I played trumpet and baritone. And then um, in high school, I played clarinet and saxophone. And in college, I played tuba. So a lot of fun, a great number of friends they still have today. Uh, band is a great place to be. The other a great option, and a lot of students like it as well, is chorus. Again, you don't have to be a wonderful singer, um, but you should like music and, and like to sing. And it's a great place to be, hang out with friends and sing. It's a lot of fun. We have an amazing chorus uh, uh, group. And so both of these programs are strongly recommended during the sixth grade year. 
because of the opportunity to make friends and uh, build long-term relationships that are very positive. So again, great kids, great program, and um, a wonderful way to go um, at, at, at middle school. <clears throat> so where does this all begin? Well, I'm gonna encourage you to go to, I'm gonna get my annotation tools out. Um, I'm gonna look at bertland.com um, is the place where I, it needs to be an address that you just kind of just go to all the time. Um, it's easy to remember, bertland.com. When you go to bertland.com, you'll see a screen that looks similar to this. This is, of course, about a year old, but it is, it is not changed too much. And you're going to look for links on the left-hand side. For parents, you can click on the parent links. For students, you can click on the student links. They have similar screens, um, but they are directed a little bit more for parents and the parent links and then for the student links. So go ahead and click on that and you will get a box that looks like, hold on one second, clear my drawings, looks like, looks like this. <clears throat> and so we've opened up the uh, parent drop-down box. The student box looks very similar. Uh, students can even use this one. It doesn't make much difference for the particular task here. And so where you're going to click is where it says Power School um, or Parent Connect right here. And that's going to open up a window which will allow you to see a whole bunch of wonderful things and will allow you to do some scheduling. So you click on that. Again, I'm going to clear my drawings and move on to the next screen. Um, you'll have an opportunity to put your username and password in. If you don't have a username or password, feel free to give us uh, an email and Mrs. Spedafino will help you get your email, um, I mean, your username and password. So again, you can just send us um, uh, an email and we'll send that back to you. So you put in your username, password, click sign in. So after you click on that, uh, that link, you'll open up our PowerSchool window and you'll have um, icons on the left-hand side. And I'm in a, a demo mode, so they don't work for me. No, they don't. All right, and so some great things that you can look at. You can look at your grades and your attendance. You can look at missing assignments. Um, you can look at your grade history. Um, most of the stuff I think is, is for middle school and high school, but you might find some things there in the elementary school. Um, we have attendance history. We have teacher comments. Hey, if you're a student, find out what your teachers are saying about you. Um, check out the comments right there. Um, school bulletin, we use this sometimes. We might be using a little bit more right now. Um, and so this is a place where you can look to see what are we doing this week. And finally, this is the, the area that we want to be looking at, um, class registration. So you'd click on the class registration and this box will open up. We talked a little bit about what it looks like um, for the core subjects. Now then, because I'm in a, a demo from the computer company, I'm, the little check marks are already here. Normally they are not there. You'll have an exclamation point saying, hey, you haven't done your, your, your request yet. Um, so the very first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go over here and you're gonna click on edit um, the course. <clears throat> so when I click on that box, all of the core courses, these, these classes have already been picked for me, but I still have to click okay, just how the software works. Um, and so then once I've clicked that, I'll get a little green check mark and I know that I need to go on to the next place. So then I'm going to be looking at mathematics. And so for mathematics, I'm going to be um, shifting um, what we're doing here. And so let me, let me shift what I'm doing here. I'll stop this one and open up. This presentation. When we're looking at mathematics, I think we really need to be considering what we want to do. If you love mathematics, or I'm sorry, if you like mathematics, this is a great path. It gives you opportunity to do schoolwork and still have things like clubs and other activities after school um, to do. It doesn't have a boatload of homework. So the place that you might wanna go is the standard sixth grade math, seventh grade math, eighth grade math path, which is called the, you know, the National Standard College Prep Course. So get you into colleges, fine. Other students who say, gosh darn it, I love math. There's nothing that makes me happier than sitting around doing math. Well then, accelerated math may be for you. So you've, you always have A's, you've always done super well, um, and, and you love math, this is the great place to be. 
So in this class, you take a, a, a year's worth of math work in sixth grade, and we add half a year's worth of seventh grade, and we pack it all into one year, which results in homework. Every night, you will have homework in this math path. Then the seventh grade year, you would have uh, math seven, eight. Again, every night, you'll have homework. And then in algebra one, you'll be uh, being algebra one as an eighth grader. This is also a very good path. Both paths are very good. Both paths get you into college. This path down here, the second one. Now then elective is the next thing I need to get to choose. And so you can see I don't have a course there. I'm gonna go over here to the, to the little pencil and, and uh, click to edit the sixth grade elective. And now I'm gonna make a choice. Okay, well, what do I want? Do I want the Spanish, uh, introduction to Spanish art flip? Or do I wanna do the instrumental music? Or do I want to do vocal music? And I, of course, as you may know, love bands, so I'm going to choose bands. So I click the little box there, and I click OK, and that puts a little green box there. All right, and, the, and now we get into the electives, and this is where we get to choose what elective we're going to be doing. I go over to the little pencil again, click on the elective, and then I choose what elective I'm going to be taking next year as a sixth grader. I personally, as you may know, love instruments, so I'd be choosing instrumental music and I click OK. Once I've done this, I have all of my core subjects uh, chosen, I've chosen my math class, I've chosen my elective class. We're basically done. Um, I need to shift the screens for us for a second. You share and I'm going to shift over to this. Um, what I need to do, so everything's been selected, I need to, whoops, I need to scroll down to the submit button here. This is incredibly important. Don't forget to submit. If you don't submit, it won't be saved and you'll have to do this all over again. Although it doesn't take very long, it's kind of a pain. So remember to submit. Important note, it doesn't matter what you submit, you can still change it. Let's say you can click submit, I go, oh my gosh, I didn't want to do that. Well, you can come back and, and re-log in and just go check the little edit box and fix what you want to change if you wanted to change something. You can change things like 20, 30,000 times uh, between now and uh, when we collect our final course requests um, towards the end of this month. So, you know, go ahead and choose your classes and click submit. Submit and talk to your friends and figure out what electives you guys are all gonna be into and uh, that will help us not to make too many changes um, next year. Um, important note for enrichment, this is the one class that we can change within the first two weeks of the school year. Um, we usually have some students that make changes, change their minds, and we can do that, but we'd like you to make the best guess of what you would like to do with regards to next year. So once you hit the little submit button, you're done. That's it, pretty easy. Looking forward to seeing all of you next year. If you have any questions at all, feel free to give us a call, send us an email, and hopefully you have a great rest of the year. Stay safe, and we'll see you in August or September when school starts again. Thank you very much.